track 2.22 hello everyone it's good to see so many of you here today uh one was called a foreign correspondent then some reporter well a newspaper you report some things that happen in port so of course it's when the time away from home i travel around the world and try to cover with some what's going on in the places i need today to answer your questions i uh, hit a lot of them what should start uh, then men from bro um, do you travel to dangerous places? Yes, sometimes you go to a war zone, for example, because you get a really good story, you have to get close to the action. And sometimes the action is a place where there's fighting, and it's dangerous, of course. Both of makes more dangerous for the local people who help me. Travelers, translators, even the people who want interviews for me. I like to say they come to it for a few days or weeks, and then come home, and they stay there, because that's where they live. And so it was easy for them. They just me to a job was dangerous, and yes, it was sometimes. So, why do you do it? Um, good question. Well, this is because it's important and helpful. Of course, it's exciting, very, very exciting. In a way, you could hope to in my company, imagine more working in the office, sitting by her desk every day. How do you prepare for each story? Uh, well, you have to know quite a the place you're going to. You have to spend time reading and talking to people and finding things out. And depending where you're going, sometimes you have to change physically. You know, in the desert, hopes and mountains, so you have to be paid. One story I did, I had to move army in the Sahara and two weeks training with army instruction. It allows me to run 10 kilometers when I have five on my back. I didn't like that much. What is the most difficult part of your job? Um, well, what is the most difficult part is trying to be objective. You know, to watch what we see and not what you think you see or what you want to see. I think people think of port is in a fair position of facts. In one country, the good to watch one, instead of port of newspaper and the government of a country didn't like it and live. And so after, of course. Would you recommend to other people? Oh yes, absolutely. I mean, it's a private one. But now someone asked me why I do it. And it's the first time I've heard that question. But it's a fantastic job. I love it. I feel very grateful to have the opportunity to do the work I do.